Well, everybody, God bless you, man. I'm still getting excited because you know what? The the, the word of God, excuse me, the word of Yah. That's the Y H A, Yah. Huh? Has, has been, is opening up to us, revealing to us the word of Yahuwah, the, the, our Savior, Yahusha. And I, you know, the little, on the screen in the beginning, we'll go ahead and start to, to break this down to you. But what we do, what we have is we've been using the, uh, uh, the Holy Scriptures uh, written in modern time, meaning not the King James Version, but the actual transcripts, you know, translation of the text that were written in the Old Testament, Hebrew text, in the New Testament, which is uh, mostly written in uh, uh, Greek, for because that was the international language, but it was all written to transcribing the Hebrew tongue, right? If that that was the whole point. I mean, they were they were they were translating the Hebrew tongue, the Hebrew writings of the New Testament, the. The Bible that we have today that we use and we the most popular used Bible, the King James Version, written in 1611. I just need you to understand. It was the first translation of the uh the 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 uh the gospel of Christ and of the New Testament. So let me get back. I keep shaking here on that thing. Uh Excuse me. It was it was it was first written in 1611 into what we call today English, right? Uh, it was more Shakespearean type English. Uh, matter of fact, it was it was, it was most people love the uh, King James version. Uh, some read going to the King James New Testament, New uh, Version, New International Version, uh, or even you got different writings of Bible standards today to try to keep it more modern in language. In other words, take the these and the dials out, right? Well, the Sefer Bible is a translation, same translation, except for it put in the Hebrew names and it puts in the uh, the places that were written in Hebrew. Uh, and I do suggest that you go to uh, Esau and and write down the uh, download the Bible app and then download the Sefer Bible. Same Bible that you read today, translation anyway, but in English, but with the Hebrew names and tongues. So when somebody sit there and say, well, I just read I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm what my Bible said. Well, what we're trying to tell you is there's a Bible that actually gives you the, the 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 English translation, but this time it put in the Hebrew names, because if you don't know, and some of you don't know, so I'm going to tell you right now, the children of Israel are Hebrews. Maybe you didn't know that, but I'm now telling you they are. They are Hebrews. And where they were from, they were in what you call the day in the Middle East, Northern Africa, in Asia. Come on now. And, 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 and the whole point of this is that the names that they used and the names that God communicated with them was in Hebrew. All right? And that's why we want you to know. We just see nobody gonna, don't don't let somebody just sit there and say the gospel according to King James. The gospel is according to Yahweh. You uh Yahusha, or you can sit there and say the gospel according to Christ. So that you have a a the most accurate translation of what Christ said. Come on now. And 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 the thing about it, we talk about it, even when you talk about the the name we use, because that's the only thing about it, the King James Version today, the modern the King James Version today, well, first of all, was written first time in 1611, did not have Jesus in it. 
right? It didn't have Jesus in it because J was not a length, was not a letter in the alphabets at that time. Nor was it something that 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 evolved until I guess I guess J came around about the 1600. Jesus did was what we use today in a modern translation is Jesus who came out in the 1700s. Now, what's the significance here? The significance is that 1,700 years Jesus' name came about. And yet when we read the New Testament, New King James Version, I think it's the sixth edition or whatever, we are saying is that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord that Jesus Christ is Lord, but that was not what was in the original text, nor was it in the original Greek manuscript, nor was it talking about the translation of the Hebrews themselves. I, it, it, you can, you can, you know, some people really stuck with tradition, and I understand you, you stay with your traditions, but I'm telling you, it's time. It's time. And I'm going to go through some scriptures real quick. This shows you it's time. It's time for us to start doing and knowing and understanding because we, we don't have time to be ignorant anymore. And so so those people, I don't know. And look, the thing about it is most uh, full-time ministers, most mega ministries and so forth, they went to what we call today, the they went to seminaries. They went to, 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 to read and study the Greek. So they, they, they went to read to study uh, Hebrew. They went there. And, and even some of my modern songs, the El Shaddai, right? I mean, uh, uh, Jehovah Jireh, right? My provider, you know, El Shaddai, you know. We, 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 we went and have songs written in some of the Hebrew tongue. You know what I mean? Let me leave some of the names and so forth. But what you know the name we haven't been doing is Yahuwah. And you know, because we said we say Jesus, when we know Jesus was not, uh, didn't come until 1700, we need to know we should have, and we do have the name that was used by the Hebrews. All right? And that's what we're going to talk about. Because we got we to gotta knock down this wall of ignorance. We got to sit there and let people know the truth, or the truth will make you free. We're going to sit there and trivialize. We, you don't trivialize the God. <laughs> The creator, y'all, the creator of heaven and earth, and trivialize his name. And we're going to show you some scripture to tell you he didn't tell you to do that. And we're going to make sure you get it. So, first of all, we're going to make sure that not only are we talking about the, the translation of Christ for uh, the New Testament, but one of the things we really got to talk about is Yahuwah. The, and most of you, look, most of you don't even know what Yahuwah means, right? Because it has been hidden. In from us, from the, the from the what you call the 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 masses for so long, and it's still people try to keep it hidden. And yet he said, "That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to know my name." For all of us who's we call Gentiles, right? For all of the Gentiles, we are supposed to know his name because you faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God and knowing he his name is Yahuwah and then when someone told you you're gonna say what, what are you talking about well everywhere you see in the New Test I mean Old Testament capital L O R D it replaced listen to what I'm trying to tell you it replaced Yahuwah Y A H U A H it replaced that name. That is the name of God. Yes, God has other names and characteristics, but this name was written 16, I mean 6,000 times. There's no other name in the Bible that is that equals that number. And if that is the case, then that is what we're supposed to know. So let's get into the scriptures. Let's do the word of God because we got to learn and we got a long ways to go to make sure that the word is getting out. And I need to ask you to get it out as well. All right. So first of all, I want to tell you, I think that's why it's exciting, is Isaiah <laughs> 60. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. 
<laughs> and what I did was put all of, all of us, because most of us were raised on the King James Version, I put it a parallel so you can see what the King James said on the left and what the Sefer, the modern translation, says on the right, all right? And I like this scripture here. And, and I'm reading from the Sefer, but I'm going to let you have the reference to the old uh, King James Version. It says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of Yahuwah <laughs> is written upon you. See, we didn't we didn't get that from the King James Version, but we getting it from the Sefa version, huh? Who for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness of people. That means these people who are sitting in darkness, we've been sitting in darkness for the longest time. But Yahuwah shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you and other nations shall come to your light and came to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes about round about and see all they gather together. Huh? They come to you. Your sons shall come from far and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and flow together, and your heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the of the sea, which is a multitude, shall be turned back unto you, and the force of the nations, King James versus the Gentile, the force of the nations shall come unto you, saints. Come on now, you you got to understand. It's time now. It's time to rise and shine and proclaim God's name, Yah's name. Huh? I say God and I say Yah in the in the mix. So did you understand? It's time to proclaim Yah's name, huh? Woo! I know it's so love in itself that you need to know that. All right. And 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 here I want to show you. Woo! You got to get this. You got to get this. I'm gonna go to John. Fine. Come on now, mm, mm, mm. check this out. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the parallel up because it's all about. It's all about the word, right? It's all about the word. Mm, 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 mm. Man, I got. I got. I got to bring this up to you. This is in uh, John chapter uh, five, and I'll keep the parallels up so you can see that because that's what it's all about. Knowing the word, knowing the word, we got to know the word. We're gonna sit there because some of these some of these preachers sit there and say, Well, I, I what my Bible said, well, I'm reading with the Bible. I'm putting the Bible up there, and on top of that, I'm putting it on a parallel so you can see the King James Version that you say, that's my what my Bible said. Well, I'm telling you what the Bible says modern translation with Sefer that gives you the Hebrew names of the people that we are calling apostles, we're calling our Messiah, we're calling God himself. Ooh, come on now, come on now, look at this. And the Father himself has sent me, I'm reading on verse 37, the Father himself has sent me and bore witness of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. And you have not his words abided in you for whom he has sent him you believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from men, he glory to God, but I know that you have not the love of Elohim, God Almighty, in you. Come on now. I am come in my Father's name. Come on, y'all. He is saying, I'm coming in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. When he's talking about it, I come in Yahuwah's name. See, that's why it's important that we need to get the most modern and accurate scriptures reading because he's coming in the name of Yahuwah. Huh? Matter of fact, even his name got Yah in it. Come on now. Why? Why? Yah. Huh? I come in the name of my father. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I like that too. That, 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 just, that just tells me that what we're doing is going forth, reading the scriptures for what it was, how 
uh, mentoring and for us to have the information that allows us, huh? That allows us to go forth. I'm bringing the scriptures up. Allow us to go forth and understand the scriptures more accurately. That's all I'm trying to give you because you need to know the truth, right? He said, I get, I read it again. Come on. <laughs> Verse 43. I come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another come in his own name, you will receive. How can you believe which receives honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from Elohim, God Almighty? Mm, 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 mm. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moshe or Moses, in whom you trust. For you have, for had you believed Moses or Mohu, Mosh, Moshe, 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 I'm sorry, that's what I'm saying. That's why I got the pearl over there. Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writing, how shall you believe my words? Mm. Mm. And so we're talking about the writing of Moses, of Moshe, that's the, that's the other way. That's the Hebrew's name, pronunciation. And what I'll do is I'll continue and just and encourage you as well, continue to practice uh, reading the Hebrew name. But we got to get this together, man. Look at this. Here's another one I got you for you. Oh, hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Acts, I'm going to Acts. I'm going to uh, verse chapter 17. Mm, 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 mm. And we're going to drop down to 22. And like I said, you see, I got the parable. And you said, my Bible said, well, I'm telling you what my Bible said. It's time for you to know what the Bible says. So you're sitting there trying to be, you, you get deep, but you got to get this. You got to know what the scriptures say. You need to know it for yourself. This is the more that you want to get the best translation because your eternal life is on the line. And you don't want to play with that. You want to continue to grow, right? All right. So let's see. Acts 17, verse 22. Then Paul, you see how they spell Paul in Hebrew, stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens. I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found an altar with this instruction to the unknown Elohim, whom there were therefore you ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you. And he's talking to us now. We ignorantly worship. Now he's trying to tell us, let's get this word together. He said, Elohim, that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Yah. See, that's why I'm talking about the Y-A-A. See, we getting in there. Look, you're starting to get the truth now, and the truth will make you free. He's telling you huh, that he is Yah of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands. Then you sit there and try. He's giving you the scripture. That's like the old, that's like the old, old King James Version telling you we're talking about God of all creation of heaven and earth, right? Come on. And made of one blood all nations. Hmm. Hmm. See how the, you see how uh, some people have used and manipulated scriptures to try to call think we all got different blood. I sit there when one of the politicians and they said poison of the blood. You no, we all of one blood. Hmm. 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 One blood. Let me bring this script up. Let me bring it up a little bit more. <laughs> you got to know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Who? Golly. Man, let's go and see how far we go up. Then I'll read that last script again that I had just said. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know what to say, man. If we, well, I, you know, and I'm blaming most of these pastors and stuff because they, they knew how to uh, break this scriptures down for all of us. Maybe they didn't. I, I, I'm going to I'm have to back off. I, maybe they did because maybe that he said that uh, uh, being ignorant, maybe all of us, uh, were were been ignorant because uh, you know even when you go to seminary you still got to go and focus on uh, how to teach you you don't learn no more than what the people teach you hmm? no more than what people teach you 
Excuse me, I went all the way down to the bottom. All right, here we go. 26 is where I left off at. All right, it says here. Let's read 26 again. And have made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell in all the face of the earth and has determined the times before appointed and bounds of their habitation. That you should seek Yahuwah. You see what he's telling? This is what this is what exactly Paul said. That you should seek Yahuwah if happily they might feel after him and find him through though he be not far from any one of us. For in him we live. Come on, I love that part. In him we live and move and have our beings as certain also of your own prophets have said, for we are also his offspring. We are the children of God, huh? For as much did as we are the offspring of Elohim, we ought not to think that the Elohim is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by arts and man's devices, nor by the color of his skin. Come on, y'all. <laughs> the time now, the time and the time of this ignorance, Elohim, we get but now commands all men everywhere to do what? Repent. Hmm? Because he is appointed the day and that which he will judge the world in righteousness that by man's whom he has ordained, there aware of he has also assurance unto all men and that he has raised him from the dead. Now, this is what the scriptures are saying. So you can sit there. Oh, I'm going to go by my Bible, my King James Bible. Well, you go by King James Bible written in 1611. I'm going to go by the scriptures and the translation that sits there and set forth and tell you the truth. Huh? Come on now. And look, 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 because 31, because he is appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. By that man whom he has ordained, whereof he has given assurance unto all men, and that he has raised him from the dead. You see the given the scriptures? And when he when they have heard of the resurrection of the dead, they mocked him, and the other said, We will hear you again of this matter. So Paul departed among them, huh? How be a certain man claimed unto him and believed among that the which was denot, uh, diosis and apocaragite Ap and a woman named Damaris and others with them. They believe what the man was saying. And I'm going to have to wrap it up because I'm talking, I'm just, you know, your attention span and I understand we can only give you so much, but I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to wrap it up with two scriptures and then we're going to base our conversations in the future off of these foundational scriptures because it is time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is time for you to know the truth, for the truth will make you see free. Let's go to uh, Isaiah. Oh, hallelujah. I need y'all, this got to go out because y'all need to see the truth and the truth will make you free. Isaiah, we're going back to Isaiah again, 42.8. Isaiah 42.8. Let's see what Isaiah 42.8 says. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, man, we, 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 we ain't got time to fool with y'all no more. We got to get the truth out. And I want to make sure you get it. I just want to make sure that you get it and get it right. This is Isaiah 42, 8. And I'm going to just read that to you. I think I'll read from 5 to, because I like, I like the more we hear his name, the better, right? So let's go 5. And you see, like I said, once again, I got the King James Version on the left side, and I got the uh, Sefer Bible, which is the modern translation with the Hebrew name because Christ was a Hebrew. Christ is a Hebrew. God spoke to them in Hebrew because he chose them of all the people to proclaim his name. Oh, glory to God. Let's see what it says. Verse 5. Thus said the El Yahuwah, he that created the heavens. See, he's giving you the description of who he is. He's not just saying his name. I'm not just telling you his name. I'm telling you his name and who he is, right? He said, thus said the El Yahuwah, he that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which comes out of it. He that gave breath unto the people and the Ruach to them that walk therein. I, Yahuwah, 
upon you in righteousness and will hold your hands and will give and will keep you and give you for a covenant of the people for the light of the other nations. See that? For the light of the other nations. There was meant to be light to the other nations. We now are the people called to be the light of other nations now. Huh? Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's somebody trying to put out the light, but God is saying now it's time to let the light shine. Huh? Then look, everything you see, you hear, you see, uh, Lord in the King James version, and that's where we got a problem, right? Okay, everywhere you see, L O R D capitalized should be Yahoo, wow, Yahoo. All right, verse seven. He looked, this was not only supposed to be the light to other nations, we're supposed to do this, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison. Oh, because that's what, this world sometimes will feel like you're putting in prison, right? And them that sat in darkness and doctors out of the prison's house. I, listen, listen to what he's saying. Listen to what he's saying. I am Yahuwah. Huh? That is my name. What? And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise or graven images, huh? Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Now, I don't know about you, but you sit there, you got that King James version to the left, and you sit there now when you put in his name in the Hebrew tongue, and you sit there and say, oh, ooh, who are we talking Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. I ain't had this Bible before. No, you didn't. Uh-uh. But God is you now revealing the truth of who his name is. Because every time we sit there and say every he said that you if my people call by my name. Come on, y'all. All right, the next one. Do the last one. I'm gonna have to go. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, hallelujah. Exodus. Come on now. This is Exodus. We're going to Exodus. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up because I'm going to have to get ready to go, but that's all right. We're going to come back. I ain't going to leave you. I ain't going to leave you. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to make sure you get it. Exodus. And once again, you got the King James Version on the left, and you got the Sefer Bible, which is the modern translation, which includes the Hebrew names of Christ, the Hebrew name of God. Come on, y'all. That's all we want to do. We just want to make sure we get it, and we're going to get it right. 15. This is where I'm going to go down. Hebrews, Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. And let me see. I'm going to read from like 11 to 15, or 12 to 15, because I want to make sure you got it. Let's go ahead. Woo! Verse 11. And Moses said unto Elohim, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh? Oh, and that I should bring forth children of Israel out of Egypt. Now, I'm, I'm putting the translate, English translation for you. And he said, certainly, I will be with you, and this shall be a sign unto you that I have sent you. When you have brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve Elohim upon this mountain. And Moses said unto Elohim, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them that Elohim of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say unto me, what is his name? What shall I say unto them? He said, verse 14, and Elohim said unto Moses, El Moses, he said, he aja, Ihaya Asher, Ihaya, and he said, thus shall you say unto the children of Israel, Ihaya has sent you, which is, I am that I am. Huh? Come on now. Now look, here's 15. This is this is, this is it. But that, that's another thing too. I didn't even know that I am that I am is Ihaya. Huh? Ihaya. And I, we, I'm going to work on the translation, I mean, the, the pronunciation as well. But that word we saw, I am that I am, is that he called it Ihaya. And you see Yah, Y-A-H is in it. Asher is that. Ihaya, huh? I'm putting Ihaya, huh? And and then 15 said, and Elohim said more unto Moses, verse 15, thus shall you say to the children of Israel, Yahuwah, Elohai of your fathers, the Elohai, 
of Abraham, the Elohai of Isaac, the Elohai of Jacob, huh? Sent me unto you. This is my name. What forever? Huh? This is my mention unto all generations. Did you hear what the scripture just said? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I'm putting the case out there for you. I, I have no choice but to put the case out there for you. We just read. He just said, for, mentioned fifteen. He said it, and he said, "This is my name forever." Now I don't know about you, but forever means forever, and it's not Lord. You can sit there all day long and sit there and say that. L-O-R-D is his name. L-O-R-D is a title. L-O-D is not a name. Do you care the words that come out of my mouth? L-O-D is a title. Look it up in the dictionary. Elohim is a title. I mean, El not Elohim is a title, but Lord is a title. And even when you look it up, you'll find out that in the Hebrews, they refer to Lord really as El uh, Baal, Lord Baal. Right? Obey O Lord, huh? They, that's what they would say. That's how they, when they look at the Lord, every time they look at it, they're thinking, you're talking about Baal. But I'm sitting there telling you that when you look at the King James Version, all you think is Lord is a title. And that is not his name. You know it's not his name. They even call, different people call Lord, huh? He said, this is my name. This is my, that this may, what he said, let me read it again. <laughs> 15, and Elohim said moreover to Moses, thus shall you say unto the children of Israel, Yahuwah, mm. Elohai, huh? of your fathers, Elohai of Abraham, Elohai of Isaac, Elohai of Jacob, huh? has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. This is my this is my mention unto all generations. He said that in the Bible. Says so you're gonna sit there and you're gonna say that all I know is the King James Bible and what my Bible said, I am telling you. What did it say? What does the Bible say? I'm giving you the translation, son. I'm giving you the translation, girl. I'm trying to tell you that the word of God, huh? Mm, mm, mm. I, I, I'm just saying, I am just saying, I am just saying that you need to know what the word says. And I'm going to review this, 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 this video to make sure that sounds are coming out because I see that one thing so that says turn up the volume. I, 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 I'm going to make sure before I send this out, but I'm please, I'm showing you the case. We are going forth and I'm using these tools, which you got the, 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 King James Version, and then you got the Sefer Version, which is the modern translations of the Hebrew text, of the Greek text, and put it into modern language, just as you do in the King James Version. But this time, we're going to put down Yahuwah. I don't know why King James didn't want to put it in, didn't put Yahuwah's name in there, but I'm telling you what he, he says is his name, and he's telling you that his name shall be remembered forever. And even Christ said, I come in the name of the Father, huh? And that's why you need to know the truth, and the truth will make you free. I pray, glory to God, that we continue to just give more understanding, break, give our case so that you didn't know it. It's time now. It's the ignorance is over. Pastors, I'm telling you, I'm asking you, do what God tells you to do. You know the truth. You know his name is Yahuwah. You know his name is Yahusha. You know it, and you're not telling it. you still holding on to that King James Version and not sitting there letting people know, hey, you speak English, but you got to understand that you worship a Savior that's a Hebrew. Amen? All right, we're going to close out on that, and I'll see you when I see you, but you need to know the truth will make you free. Amen? All right. God bless you, and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> God bless you. Look, Read the Bible, download Cipher, download Esau first, or you can go to the Cipher app too and uh, and get some more understanding of what's going on. Amen? All right. God bless you. Yes, it's time. Bye. <laughs>